Namaskar. I welcome you all to another edition of Understanding NEP 2020. Today I will talk about understanding the role of institute leadership, academic bodies and faculty members in implementing the provisions of NEP. By 2040, all higher education institutions shall be multidisciplinary institutions and shall aim to have larger students enrolled preferably in thousands. For optimal use of infrastructure and resources and for creation of vibrant multidisciplinary culture. Since this process will take time, all higher education institution will firstly plan to become multidisciplinary by 2030 and then gradually increase student strength to the desired level. Now the role of institute leader leadership is very important. Institute management or board must identify the leaders of the institute who understand the provisions of NEP, freedom given by the regulatory bodies and have courage to implement it. He has to develop an understanding with the nearby institutions for knowledge exchange and resource sharing. He must also be responsible to select the experts of various academic bodies who are dynamic in decision making and clear in thoughts. This is important because when credit transfer and multiple entry and exit is implemented, then a uniform law framed cannot be implemented in all cases as the all cases will be different in nature. It has been seen in most of the cases academic leaders are writing to the regulatory bodies for clarification. It is not possible for regulatory bodies to give clarification in all such matters. Regulators are issuing broad guidelines and institutions have to take a decision in true spirit of these guidelines and the best interest of the stakeholders. Now let us see the role of academic bodies and faculty members. The NEP 2020 has proposed revision of curriculum to make space for critical thinking, inquiry based, discovery based, discussion based and analysis based learning. The mandated content will focus on key concept, ideas, applications and problem solving skills. Teaching and learning will be conducted in a more interactive manner, questions will be encouraged and classroom sessions will have more fun, more creative and collaborative activities for students for deeper and experiential learning. Towards the attainment of such a holistic and multidisciplinary education, the flexible and innovative curricula of all higher education institutions shall include credit based courses and projects in the area of community engagement, environmental education and value based education in the curriculum. The curriculum must include basic arts, crafts, humanities, games, sports, languages, literature, culture and values in addition to science and mathematics to develop all aspect of capabilities of the learners. The gap between current state of learning outcomes and what is required must be bridged through undertaking major reforms that bring the highest quality equity and integrity into the system. So, the frequent revision of curriculum is necessary as per the local need and the requirement of the society and industry. As part of a holistic education, students at all higher education institutions must be provided with opportunities for internship with local industry, businesses, artists, craftsperson as well as research internship with faculty and researchers. Due to the emergence of new technologies, role of teacher is also changing. 
teacher role will not only be to impart knowledge, but will also serve as a mentor and guide of the students as was prevalent in the Gurukul system. Teacher has to understand the capabilities of the student and then tailoring the teaching to the need of the student. In last, there is no ready made solution of the issues, but administrators, faculty and the policy makers have to innovate to find solutions in the best spirit of NEP and the society as a whole. We have to learn from the best practices of each other institution. NEP has given an opportunity to us to make India Vishwaguru. I hope we will take advantage of it. That is all for now. I will be back with some more input on NEP. Stay tuned. Namaskar.